Okay, people, pop quiz. You ready? What do a Wyoming flag and a nickel have in common? Buffalo? Wrong. Well, we'll give you half credit. It's more properly called the bison. Now, some estimate that there could have been 50 to 60 million of them. Even the most conservatively reasoned estimates put the number in the tens of millions. To put that in perspective, there are less than a million elk in America, and there are about 30 million cattle in all of America, and the bison were generally just concentrated in the plain states. The historical journals tell stories of encounters with herds of buffalo that were 25 miles across and 50 miles long. We're talking Rhode Island size. Talk about a traffic stopper. The bison was a grazer who moved in herds. They went where feed was good and couldn't have left much behind. Many would have been migratory, following spring green up and fleeing winter snows. Huge changes in this young nation's west. White man, railroads, disease, fences all brought their numbers down to the thousands. And the role that they played in the rangeland ecology of the west now rests largely in cattle. The bison, memorialized in nickels and flags, they seem to be a curiosity to much of the nation, but they're an important part of our western heritage. From the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service, I'm Eric Peterson.